The Life and Sad Ending of Francine York Francine York was born Francine Yerich on August 26, 1938, in Aurora, Minnesota, U.S.In the small mining town Aurora, Minnesota, the elder of two sisters. Her younger sister was named Deanne. In 1941, her family moved to Cleveland, where she began to write short stories and take an interest in acting. At the age of nine, she appeared in the Hodge School's production of Cinderella as the stepsister Griselda, at which point she wished to become an actress. When she was 12, her family moved back to Aurora, where she continued performing in class plays. She wrote, produced, directed, and starred in a three-act play, Keen Teens or Campus Quarantine, charging five cents admission. The whole town attended. While studying journalism and drama at Aurora High School, she worked as the feature editor of her school newspaper, and she won all of the school's declamation contests with her dramatic readings. She was a baton-twirling majorette for the school marching band and active in the 4-H club, where she won several blue ribbons for cooking in both county and state fairs. York attended Hamlin University on a drama scholarship. At age 17. She won the local Miss Evelith Beauty Contest and became a runner-up in the Miss Minnesota Contest, which was hosted by former Miss America BB Shop. Moving to Minneapolis, she landed a job modeling sweaters for New York-based Jane Richards Sportswear and began traveling throughout the U.S. She moved to San Francisco and took a modeling course at the House of Charm Agency, which helped her begin a modeling career for major department stores, including Macy's. Her modeling got the attention of the producers of the Miss San Francisco beauty pageant. She entered the contest and was voted runner-up, but ended up taking over the title after the winner became too ill to participate. York soon got a job as a showgirl at Bimbo's Nightclub in San Francisco. Bimbo's headliner, Mary Mead French, brought Francine to Hollywood and helped get her signed with an agent. Francine worked as a showgirl at Frank Sin's Moulin Rouge, a popular Hollywood nightclub on Sunset Boulevard, where she performed in three shows a night, seven nights a week, for six months. Tired of sharing a stage with elephants, pigeons, and horses, she began taking acting classes with actor-teacher Jeff Corey. A theatrical producer cast her in a play called Whisper in God's Ear at the Circle Theater and she was also cast in her first movie, Secret File, Hollywood, a film about the day-to-day -day operations of a sleazy Hollywood tabloid. York's first screen role was in Robert Clark's Hollywood exploitation film Secret File Hollywood shot in 1960 but not distributed until 1962. Her big break came when Jerry Lewis cast her in It's Only Money, in which she played a tantalizing sex spot, a role that brought her much publicity. This led to Lewis hiring her for five more of his films, including The Nutty Professor, The Patsy, The Disorderly Orderly, The Family Jewels, and Cracking Up, in which she portrayed a 15th-century marquise. Other film appearances include Bedtime Story, Tickle Me, Canon for Cordoba, and science fiction cult films such as Curse of the Swamp Creature, Mutiny in Outer Space, and Space Probe Taurus. In The Doll Squad, she played CIA agent Sabrina Kincaid. She portrayed Marilyn Monroe in Marilyn, Alive and Behind Bars, and in 2000, she played Nicolas Cage's mother-in-law in The Family Man. York portrayed Amanda Agnew on It Takes a Thief, Wendy Winkowski in Slattery's People, 980, and Kate Landis in The Courtship of Eddie's Father. In 1964, she appeared as Nurse Norma in My Favorite Martian S1E37 Uncle Martin's Wisdom Tooth. York played Lily Langtree in the 1965 episode A Picture of a Lady of the Syndicated Television Anthology series, Death Valley Days. York was featured in five episodes of Burke's Law between 1964 and 1965 and made two guest appearances on Perry Mason including the role of Ursula Quigley in the 1965 episode The Case of the Wrongful Writ and as co-defendant Bobby Dane in the 1966 episode The Case of the Sausalito Sunrise. She appeared as Neolani, 
a military leader from a matriarchal society where males were subjugated, in Lost in Space Season 2, Episode 25 The Colonists. She also appeared in a segment of Green Acres, and in, Marry Me, Marry Me, an episode of Gomer Pyle, USMC that first aired November 16, 1966. On Batman, she appeared as Lydia Limpet. 3. In episodes 29 and 30 The Bookworm Turns, While Gotham City Burns. She continued to act in films and on television, with TV appearances including Hot in Cleveland, and The Mindy Project. She appeared on Bewitched as a statue of the goddess Venus which came to life and became Samantha and Darren's maid in Season 8 Episode 5 Bewitched, Bothered and Baldoni. She also appeared in an episode of Adam 12, Reason to Run, Season 3 Episode 25. She appeared on Columbo, The Forgotten Lady in Season 5, Episode 1 as Sergeant Lefkowitz in 1975. She appeared as Queen Medusa during the second season of Jason of Star Command in 1979, in Episode 3 Web of the Star Witch, in Episode 10 Little Girl Lost, and in Episode 11 Mimi's Secret. In March 1991, York made guest appearances on All My Children, One Life to Live, and Santa Barbara. York also worked as a fitness, nutrition expert and a gourmet cook making many appearances on television demonstrating her culinary skills. Many of her recipes and exercise programs were published in national health magazines. Loneliness has followed her a lifetime. York never married. She once said, like Cinderella, I always wanted to marry the handsome prince. Dot, but they don't make glass slippers in size 10. She died on January 6, 2017, in Van Nuys, California from cancer, aged 78. She had been working on her autobiography. She is interred at Hollywood Forever Cemetery.